Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, I'm just going to be looking over a, a property here that a, a commenter had uh, sent me a, this picture of and asked me about. Um, and it looks like here in the yellow, looks like it's got some thick brush with some white oak acorns um, and some hardwoods here. Um, this area here it says deer movement AM and PM pointing in this in this one direction. Um, and it's got bedding question, bedding question, bedding question. Um, one thing I do uh, about the bedding, uh, let me get my deal fixed here. Uh, one thing about the bedding, I very seriously doubt the deer are going to bed in this open field. Okay, this is a, uh, a developed area, and we'll look at it just briefly here on uh, Google Earth, and let me let me show you that. Okay, here um, on Google Earth. Okay, we're looking at it now. Um, just to, just so I can just kind of show you the the area here. I mean, you can see it's just, it's a developed area um, all up through here. Um, now, one couple key things I do notice, um, and any other question was, is this question bedding question bedding? If this is grown up tall enough to where the deer feel safe in there as they as they bed down and stuff they'll definitely bed in there um and then you had this here thick underbrush if that is very th very very thick um they may be bedding in that um pretty you know in there deer will go and bed wherever they feel safe um i very seriously doubt they're going to bed out in this open field they're just not going to feel secure they're not going to be safe um that could be bedding here um, another spot that looks to like could, they could be bedding in uh, is over here in this area. If this is grown up with some underbrush and some just some tall grasses and things like that, same with here. Okay, and then that might explain why there's deer movement, you know, coming back and forth. But most likely, if you've got deer movement um, coming back and forth right in here, uh, most likely the deer are bedding in this area somewhere. Um, if this has grown up and it's thick, okay, where they can get in there and, and feel secure. Um, the commenter also said that there's a, a lot, a lot of deer. He's never um, hunted this without seeing a uh, a deer. Okay, we're going to go back over here to the picture. Okay, and we'll look at this again. So we know that we have um, this, this here could possibly be bedding area. So we're going to mark that as green. It could. Um, this could possibly be bedding area. This could possibly be bedding area. And remember over here, them spots I, we looked at, them could possibly be bedding area over there, okay? Um, the deer could definitely be bedding in this area here in this yellow where it's, where it's thick underbrush. They could be bedding in that. Um the tree stand by the white oaks uh, is a good idea, especially in the evening. Um, as the deer will use them, they'll feed in there. Um, they can be hunted in the morning, get in there early enough. Um, a couple things about this this property here I notice is if if this is not real thick here or this this here, okay, and this is not real thick where the deer are bedding in there, um, you've got a funnel here. Okay, if them are not real thick. If them are real thick, the deer probably are not going to use this funnel other than possibly if it's easy, really easy to walk up and down. They're probably not going to use it, okay, to get in and hit out of here. If this is real thick, they're just going to walk straight through the middle of it and in and out. Now, one thing you may be able to use this for if these trees are tall enough, uh, maybe uh, put a deer stand in them. They could possibly be a... Uh, stand location in the middle of these bedding areas okay so that's always a um, possibility okay so we're just going to put a small question here if these are bedding areas if these areas are real thick then the deer are bedding in there and if that's the case you may be able to use this tree line if they're large enough trees for possible stand locations okay these are things you need to look for and, and stuff like that keep in mind and stand locations in bedding areas um, can be good at certain times okay certain times if they're hunted right and done right they are very hot spots but the timing and things have to be right okay and I'm gonna be making courses and stuff like that 
um, on stuff like that. So look for that. Another uh, area we have here, we do have a funnel here. Okay. Um, that is a funnel. Um, another spot possibly, um, possible uh, deer could bed in this, this, this area here. Okay. I could possibly bed in that isolated island of, of trees. Okay. And that could be a food area. So, you know, stay in location, possibly somewhere in that funnel. Um, you know, you have to really look it out and look at it. Um, but you know, I think the funnel, anytime you have a funnel, um, definitely, um, good, um, stand locations. I think this, if you have white oak trees here, white oak acorns, um, you have some hardwood, so you probably have some other types of acorns. Um, the stand location is probably uh, pretty good here, okay? I'm um, at, at timings, and all this comes down to timing, okay? And I'm going to be putting a course together um, not too long. It may already be out by the time you're watching this video um, that discusses timing and things. But there are the kind of things I'm looking for on this property here. <clears throat> Guys, this, this type of property here, from, from understanding what he's saying, heavily overpopulated with deer okay so there's tons of deer um he sent me a picture of a really nice uh eight point he's got on trail camera um so there's definitely uh you know some some decent uh bucks in the area and anytime you have a lot of deer you're going to have decent bucks as long as uh um, there's areas where they can go and get away from from the hunting pressure um, now this area here may be a type of area that a lot of people overlook. A lot of people overlook areas like these and things with uh, um, and don't hunt them. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. I hope it gives you a few pointers and some tips and things to look for. Um, it's a pretty nice looking place. Um, the commenter has sent me uh, several places, and uh, that's a good thing because he's got several options and different places to hunt without over hunting one particular spot. Um, get the timing right on the things, get all that done, and um, hunt them at the right times and things. And you've got some seriously um, up in your odds on success, putting your stands in certain locations at certain times. Okay, so each, um, because each one of these stand locations are going to be hunted at different times. Okay, and there's other stand locations here as well. I mean, you could have some up in this area bedding areas things like that but guys them are certain times and certain situations and things like that as the deer move in different areas at different times of the year um, and different times of the hunting season uh, I just highly recommend any of my courses I put them together fundamentals of that course so that you can really understand it and really take that stuff home and you don't have to search through hundreds and hundreds of different videos to get the information that's all right there in one course um, packed full of information so that you can get it quick and, and get out. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day and bye-bye.